Hello good people! We have another exciting tutorial for you guys today as always, but before I begin the tutorial I'd like to give a quick little shout out to a fellow tech YouTuber by the name of Matt Skateboard. Matt actually made a video that I was really impressed with about how to change the memory in your iMac. Not only did I find this video very useful, and will find it more useful when I decide to upgrade my RAM, but I really liked the filming style. The filming style was really clean cut, it was really one of those step-by-step -step tutorials similar to my DIY securities camera. So guys, definitely check out Matt's skateboard, it makes amazing tech videos. If you like what he's doing, click that yellow subscribe button, help him out. Uh, there'll probably be an annotation right here, so you can go to his channel, or probably a link on the right. But click one of them, check him out, subscribe if you like what he's doing. So, now we're going to move on to the tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make a Mac virus. And you guys are probably saying right now, nope, Mac, not possible, Macs don't get viruses. Well, viewer, they do get viruses. Just not the type of viruses that PCs get. Uh, the worst that this virus can do is probably make you reinstall OS X, and then you'd probably be fine. Um, but without any further blabbering, I'm going to start this tutorial by opening up Terminal. And we're going to type CD Desktop. Now I'm actually on my desktop. Then you want to type Nano, and then the name of this virus. Now you want to think about who you're going to be sending it to, because you want the name to reflect their interests. So if I were to send this to someone who likes baseball, I'd probably title it Baseball, because then they'd be more likely to open it. So after I've chosen my name, I'm going to click Enter. And now I want to make these this virus, which is a bunch of commands, run constantly and just loop. So, so to make a loop, I'm going to type while, open parentheses, true, close parentheses, do. And next, we want this to run in Bash, not in Terminal, because if they see running in Terminal, they will just quit Terminal, and then the whole virus will be dead. So we want to type kill all terminal. And after kill all terminal, then we want to type kill all, and then any application or any process that you want. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to type kill all finder. Click enter. Type done. Click enter again. And I'm going to press Control X because I want to save. I'm going to press Y because I do want to save it. And I want it to be titled Baseball. As you guys can see right now, this really isn't a very virus looking file. And actually, if I were to double click it, it would open up in term uh, open up in text edit, and they'd see that I'm trying to kill Finder, and they'd probably just think I'm a loser because I epically failed on this. So we want to change this into a file that will open up in terminal. So to do that, we have to type ch mod plus x, then we want to drag that file in there. And then we going to press enter. And now this is a file that will open up in terminal, which is what we want. But as if I were to send this to someone, they'd be like, oh, why is this a terminal file? I don't want to open up this. I don't want to get involved with terminal. So we want to create the illusion that it's actually a picture. Because if you title something correctly, and they see that it's a picture, they will open it. I think you guys know what I mean. So I'm going to take a screenshot of my desktop. I'm going to click Command I on both of those files. I'm going to drag the picture, or the preview from that picture file, to the top left hand corner of my Unix file. And now you guys can see that it is indeed a picture. But if I were to send this to someone, they double click it and it would open up in text edit. But we don't want that. So what we need to do is we need to zip it. Zip it good. So we're going to compress it. Now this baseball.zip, if I were to double click that, it would compress, I get the picture file, and then someone would double click that, and then our script would start running. So I'm going to show you guys how to stop these viruses, because I'm pretty sure after this video, a bunch of you guys will be go out and make these and send them to all your friends. So, actually I'm going to activate the virus, so I'm going to double click that. Right there, Finder is now dead. I can't click on Finder. Finder does not open in the dock. And I actually need to get to the application Activity Monitor because Activity Monitor is the only way that I will be able to stop this virus. So I'm going to show you guys. I'm clicking Finder again. It's not opening. So what's another way to access any application? Spotlight. There we go. I open up Activity Monitor. But in the script, if you killed Spotlight, I'd be pretty screwed. And I'd have to restart my computer. So once we are in Activity Monitor, you want to search Bash, because that's what the script is running in. 
and now you guys just want to kill one of these processes. Uh, it doesn't matter which one. If you kill one, it automatically kills the other. So we're going to click, click process, force quit. And there you go, guys. Finder still works. Everything works. And that's how you do it, guys. That is how you make a Mac virus. Um, if you really wanted this to be a virus, you would make it so that it starts at login. Because right now, if I just restarted my computer while the script was act while the virus was activated, um, I would just restart and then the virus wouldn't be activated. So if you really want this to make a good virus, you want it to open up at login. But I'm not gonna tell you guys how to do it because that'd be mean. Um, so guys, thanks for watching this tutorial. Uh, remember to check out Matt's skateboard. The link will be in the right as well as my Twitter for exclusive content at twitter.com slash 12 Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, and take care.